Um, okay, well, that was really weird. The settings on OBS got changed and my mic was no longer the source that I needed. Um, anyway, hi! Happy Monday! I need to look at a calendar. It's Monday, yes. Um, so for today, we're starting something new. We're doing Manny Monday. I, um, like doing my nails a lot. That's something that I got into. Okay, backstory. I did my nails a lot when I was in, like, middle school, high school. Um, just like with nail polish, and I did weird designs, and sometimes they pop up on my Facebook memories of the nails that I've done, and it's... Oh, baby, it's, uh, it's something. So... Anyway, I've been doing, I like doing nails. That's the story. So then when COVID hit, um, my sister actually got me into dip powder. Um, so we have stuff that uh, we've bought like kits, colors, everything that we need to do our own dip powder nails at home. And I've been doing that for the last like two years. I still go to the salon and get my nails done and crap like that, but more often than not, I'm doing them here at home with my own dip powder. The only issue is I don't like it when my nails are super short because then I think they look stubby and gross. And Daniel, I forgot paper towels. I'm so dumb. Well, you just grab the roll. Um, also, I can hear myself when it's annoying. <laughs> anyway, um... So we're gonna do our nails. I just got a bunch of new colors in the mail from my sister. I have to be careful to not, oh, I'm out of focus. Let's fix that real quick. Settings, configure. Uh, focus, we want, there, okay. I don't know why we got out of focus. Anyway, do be careful so I don't show you my address on accident. But my sister sent me a box with, so we go in a lot together with our nail stuff and do orders together and then like split it and that's nice. Thank you. Um, so she just sent me like my latest portion of our split orders. And there are so many colors and so many other things. She sent me some cuticle softener and I kind of want to try that. But then we're going to have to get up and wash it off our hands real good before we start. And then she sent me a peel base, which we'll try it. I mean, I guess it should take or make it easier to take your nails off. And then she sent me like these dots thingies. You're supposed to use those as your sample. And then it just goes right on the lid of your color rather than having to have. I told you I have a problem, right? Because... I can open my own salon at this point with the amount of colors that I have. Okay, I have three full rings. Oh, you're also getting tons of ASMR here on this stream. Like, aren't you just so excited about that? Um, so many colors. I'm gonna turn down my music here too, so. I don't have headphones on, so I'm not listening to the music. So if the music's too loud, too quiet, let me know. Um, yeah. So anyway, I've got three rings of colors, right? And I've got them organized, mainly sparkles on this one. And on this one, it's more of like the cooler tones, the greens, the blues, the purples are all on this one. And then we have the warmer tones on this one where it's reds, pinks, oranges, and then I've got nudes and then like browns and blacks on the end. For some reason, I thought that's where they fit. So I've got like all my browns, blacks, and well, these colors look really off because IRL, this one, well, I guess it's like that color. It's magenta magic supposed to be a color changing one a heat changer or a color changer I don't remember but it's like a maroony sparkle it's really hard to see on this camera 
anyway. So, along with this new portion of my order that my sister and I split, look at this baby. Oh, look at him, he's looking out of my window. He's keeping watch on us to keep us safe. He's such a good boy. Are you a good boy? Yeah. He's such a good dog. Um, so I've got all those, right? There's so many of them. And in the whoop, box, box, box that my sister sent me, there's a ton of colors in it. Um, I took a lot of them out that already have swatches though. She sent me a new like brush, um, those dots and some like astrology stickers and stuff. Astronomy, astrology, whatever. Stars and stuff. That would be really cute. There's a color that I have. Uh, it's Aurora Borealis. And those would look super cute with that color. And then there's this little uh, sticker grabber thing. I don't really know. I'm assuming that's what I was gonna use it for. And then, um, let's see the top. So there's actually some other stuff that I ordered in here too because I didn't know where else to put it. But all the rest of this is stuff that my sister sent me. Um, they don't have swatch sticks. I also have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors over here that already have swatch sticks because I paid for those. Um, and I just need to add them to my rings. But none of these have swatch sticks. So I'm gonna have to go in and make those myself. Um, which is not that hard to do. It's just time consuming. So, like I said, Daniel picked our color for today. And he picked from one of the new ones that we got in this box from my sister. And I really was hoping that he would pick this one. Right? It's called Infinity Pool. It's from Sparkle & Co. And it's very similar to what our wedding colors were going to be. It looks a little bit more blue on, on the stream. But it's a little bit more um, like a dark turquoise. It's very pretty. But anyway, I was kind of hoping that he would pick this one um, because it was our wedding colors and I'm sentimental like that. But instead, he picked uh, another one from Sparkle & Co, Black Sea Glass. It's super cute. And I'll post a video of these on my Twitter after we're done too, so you can see them a little bit better. Um, but that's the color we're going to go with for today. My other option, if he didn't pick one, that's the one we're doing. Um, I was going to go with my normal, like, fall manicure. And what I do for that one, like every other basic white girl, I do a very pretty maroon and a gold glitter so it's very fall very the red is a lot deeper in person but i've got scorpion venom and boss babe and i think both of those colors are from peppy gel but yeah the color is a lot more deep red burgundy in color or in person it's very pretty and that's like my go-to fall manicure um so i need to get these out of the way so i stop like shaking them in your ears and move all of our extra colors out of the way and we'll switch scenes here and i don't have all of it set up yet uh, i'm gonna have to do a little bit of finagling here on stream to get this up and going. Uh, what do I do first, Daniel? I have to... I have to go to the scene, right? And then Daniel's coming to save the day. Hi, 
do I have to go to the scene first and then? Uh, okay, let me go to the right scene here. Setting, and then can't saw now. Okay, settings. Uh, okay, so we copy that. I have to send myself the link here. I feel like that's the only <laughs> keyboard's tucked away under my desktop now. Then I have to open up the link on my phone. Oh, no, wait, no, no, I don't want to do it that way. Can you tell that I'm not an expert by any means at this? We would have done it differently. We plugged in a second webcam. And tried to... What? On your, on your phone. Uh, Where? Oh, you got it. Yeah. Join. Mute. Okay. The only issue that I'm having now is video feedback. And I don't know. Damn it. I might have to hook up like headphones to my phone. I need to go grab headphones. That should. In theory. Hold, please. We didn't test it out with everything that we should have. Because why? It's not coming through my headset, even though my headphones are connected. Daniel Hop. So it's playing the sound from your stream. On my phone. I can hear it in my phone. And my headphones are connected to my phone. Good thing we married somebody who's good with tech. Are you talking now? I am talking now. I feel like I need like a standby for technical difficulties thing here. This is always what happens when you start to try something new, eh? I tried putting the phone on Do Not Disturb, too, to see if that would help, and... Now? 
evidently didn't work. Or did it work? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Is it going through my headphones now? Maybe I should just use headphones on stream. Like earbuds. Bluetooth. Will you turn that chair, please? The dogs want to sit in it. I don't hear anything. Um, I am talking right meow. Uh, I think I fixed it. Okay, I don't know what you did. I don't know either. <laughs> All right, let me get the camera set up here, and then we can actually start. Wouldn't that be nice to finally do? Okay, let me make sure we've got... Eh? Look at these mad skills. You can see all the dog hair on my sweater, so just ignore that. Um, anyway, so here's... The color that we're doing my oh no it's upside down and backwards i thought oh well anyway it's black sea glass let me actually flip the camera again nope 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 nope, nope. properties flipped it once there now you should actually be able to read it what it actually is. Sparkle and co. Bam. Black sea glass. So it's a little bit easier to see now what color we're going to be using. Wow. Um, okay, so anyway, that's the color. Peep my uh, gorgeous, gorgeous ring here. Cha-pow. Oh, pow <laughs> um, Yeah. So my nails are clean right now, and we're going to change that, clearly. And I hope my phone can keep up. We're using my phone for this camera right here, my nail cam, and it's just like propped up right in front of me. So I don't know why I have this earbud in still. Um, let me find the actual color. Maybe you can see these other new colors better now, too. But like this is the one that I wanted to do and then this one's got like a really nice kind of hard to see it like I don't know there's a very nice sheen they um, sparkle did a whole like opal collection and I'm obsessed with every single one of them um, I mean I have three of them right here like three different kinds of it can't see it but like all three of these have that same kind of vibe to it and I'm obsessed with it. Anyway, we're doing this one. Doing that one. It's called Black Sea Glass. Let me grab it. Black Sea Glass. And it's in it's a mini. So it's uh I think it's half an ounce. Yeah, and it's from um if my camera comes alive. So it's from the secret menu of Black Sea Glass from Sparkle and Co. Nothing on the bottom. So that's one thing that I do like about Sparkle. So I use both Sparkle and Co and Peppy Jaw, right? And one thing that I like about Sparkle is that it puts their label on the top for what color it is and with Peppy Jaw their jars while they're nicer I do like their jars um, this is for a full ounce so they've got the logo I have to remember because this camera's backwards also I'm not sponsored in any way shape or form by either Peppy Gel or Sparkle um, if they want to collab I am all for it I will definitely do this all the time if they collab with me so hit me up um, anyway, they put their colors on the bottom. And I don't really like to store my colors with the lid down. I like to put them lid up. So I think that's one advantage that Sparkle has over Happy Gel, in my opinion. So 
Anyway, let's get to the actual meat of our stream here. Okay, so I've never done like a live uh, stream. So this is going to be very scuffed. Um, a live stream of me doing nails. I've filmed it and posted TikToks when I had TikTok. I don't have TikTok anymore. Um, anyway. So, and I'm like kind of shaking. I don't know why. <laughs> um, here's the nails, right? They look disgusting underneath them. So I have my like prep jar tub over here. I'm just going to clean out underneath my nails real quick because they look nasty underneath there. At least on the stream, they look pretty gross. And we don't want to have random crap under our fingernails because that's disgusting. Also, I feel weird looking down all the time. So like on this camera, you're only going to be seeing like the top of my head. Which I had to do something about my hair because every time I looked down, my hair just looked like rough. <laughs> uh. So, um, I am also not a professional by any means. Like, I just do this for fun for my own nails. I've done some family members before. Um, but I definitely don't, like, do this professionally. Um, just my own. And I don't know how to do any big extravagant designs or, like, fun stuff. Um, anything like that. But, anyway. Gonna push the cuticle back. Move our color that we're doing. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about right now. I feel like it's going to be very difficult to show the correct angle. Um, like when I'm actually doing what I'm doing. Because like sometimes I bring my fingers all the way up here and I'm doing shit. So like sometimes we might just be like this. Because I can't tell. I'm pushing my cuticles back right now. And when I have them down here I can't see what the hell I'm doing. So... We're gonna have them up here for this part, and I should just remember to keep it, like, up. Um, up, up. Usually I clip them off. Like, I cut the cuticles off, but I don't really feel like doing that today. Just for the sake of time, usually it takes me, like, two hours to do my nails, and I don't really want to spend all of that time on stream doing that. Um... Unless we're here for it, you know? And and we're chilling. As it is Monday, normally I talk about my weekend. Um, Daniel took a few days off. So I didn't stream very much last week because Daniel had Thursday, Friday off. Um, so I didn't stream because we were hanging out. And what did we do Thursday? Thursday, I think we just played games. Um, and spent a lot of time playing ranked because the season ends literally in like 10 hours. Um, and I wanted to get gold because then I get a free skin. And you can only get those skins. This year it's a Sejuani skin. So like, I don't even play her, but I wanted the skin. Because if I don't get it now, I'm never going to get it. And I don't know. I have FOMO, I guess, is the moral of the story here. Um, that's really what was going on. So right now I'm just grabbing like some really... I have like four of these and I need to get new ones. Um, and these are just to rough up my nails a little bit so that the... Uh, liquids that I'm using have something to attach to a little bit better. And I thought I had another one, but I guess not. But what I need to do first is um, fix the nail shape here because it's kind of... They're getting long. Um, tilt my camera up a little bit here. I'm going to be getting a lot of... Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll tilt it back down here in a little bit. But I'm just fixing the shape. I just did my nails last Saturday, so they don't need a ton of work to them right now. If anything, I just need to trim them down. I don't like having crazy long nails, but at the same time, I don't like having short nails because then it doesn't look as good. So make that make sense. You can't. Um, yeah. Anyway, I feel like I so backwards with what way I need to go with my camera here. If we are getting too long in this and we need to just do one hand, totally fine with it. Because I usually do one hand at a time anyway. But maybe for the sake of the stream, I'll do both hands at the same time. I don't know. Just really want that shape finished and fixed. I don't think I finished my conversation about my hair. My hair, so I went to bed. I showered last night. Went to bed. Uh, and didn't brush it before I went to bed. So it's a big poofy mess right now. And we put on a hat to uh, tame it. Because <laughs> it's, wow. I tried to do space buns because I think that's a really cute hairstyle. I need to look up tutorials on that because that's not going to be something that I accomplish just uh, doing it. Um, anyway, so we're almost done filing here. I do like this length. Like, I think it's a good length. Just like right at the tip of my fingers. That's kind of where I like it. Um, and I do like the rounded shape more than other shapes that are out there. Let me put on some chapstick here quick. All right, so now we have to do the buffing of our nails. Let me put my camera back down here a little bit. And I just use these little ones. Honestly, these came, um, they just got sent to me by, I don't remember who it was, if it was Peppy Gel, if it was Sparkle. One of those companies when I bought my colors and my kits. You can do starter kits from the website. I feel like I'm a salesperson for them and I don't really like that but I'm just trying to like explain things but anyway you just do that a little bit to rough up your nails and I honestly prepping for the application is so important because if you don't prep well then it's not gonna stay on as long and that's kind of the issue that I run into specifically like along my skin and in the nail beds and on the sides. Like that's where I run into issues with lifting. So if anybody has tips about that, I try to like file those spots more um, in anticipation of the lift. I'm also very tough on my nails and it's like I have anxiety and when I'm feeling anxious, I pick at my nails. So that's another reason that I'm tough on them and they like, they don't last. In theory, these are supposed to last, like they can last what, three weeks for sure. Um, I probably only keep mine on for two weeks max before I'm bored of the color or they lift or, um, you know, I fucked with them enough and stuff comes off, but. You know whatever right and what's nice is these jars this is so this is a mini but it's still probably good for like at least 10 manicures depending on your nail length so that's nice that is one thing that i like about doing it myself is it's much more cost effective um, 
takes me a shit ton of time, but it's me time. And now it's us time. My. What are we trying? What what nickname should I try today? My Furnimals or my Fur Fam or Furbies? Starting to not like Furbies. I don't know. I have everything written down on my uh, whiteboard up above me. Alright. That seems good enough. Let's do some final. I feel like naturally my hand wants to my hands want to be like right here, which is a bad spot for the camera. Should definitely just move it Oop. over. Yeah, that feels pretty good. All right. So the system for this, sorry, this is so backwards. Um, it's a three step system unless you use a peel base, which I don't have any instructions on the peel base. I don't know if how to use it actually. So maybe we just do one finger with the peel base. I Obviously it's a base, so it goes on first, but like, do you let it, do you put it on and then dry it and then, oh! It's like a, I don't know. Should we try it? We'll try it on the thumb. But let's see what happens. Do like a really thin layer of it. And it's like on there. It looks like like a like Elmer's glue or something. Anyway. Three liquid system. Liquid one you use when you're actually putting on the color. Two is like the activator, and then three is just your top coat. Um, I use liquids from Peppy Gel. I haven't tried liquids from Sparkle other than their... Um, matte top coat and now their peel base which i don't know if it's supposed to dry or what i'm gonna use my fan real quick and i have a handy dandy little fan we'll see if that dries it because <laughs> the last time i touched it it was not dry um Anyway, so I use the liquids from Peppy Gel just because I've never used the actual liquids from Sparkle. And I'm a creature of habit. Alright, so that's dry. Should we do it on all of them? Should we just say fuck it and do it? I say fuck it, let's do it. We're gonna use the peel base on all of our fingers. We'll just do a thin layer uh, on all of them. You know what I really, really need is another light down here. Because this is kind of dark. Thin layer. Another thin layer of the peel base. And we'll just go ahead and do both hands fancy. Oh, the peel base. Um, hopefully you guys can see that, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do both hands here at the same time. I find usually when I do that, oh, that's a lot. Um, it goes a decent speed when I do both hands at the time at the same time, rather than trying to do one hand and, you know. Do the whole process for one hand and then go back and do the whole process again for the other hand. And I am right handed, so 
doing my left hand is soups soups easy and then we get over to the right hand and i'm like i don't know how to hold any of this I'm also one of those people who really likes to dip their uh, brushes back into the bottle after every single finger. <laughs> uh. Does anybody else have that issue where their ring finger is the nail that grows the slowest? For me. I don't know if that nail just starts further back, but it takes so much longer for that nail to get to the regular length of all the others and match it. It bothers me. Yo, hey, how's it going? Been a few days. We are doing our nails, as the title would suggest and as this big ass camera with my nails on it would also suggest i've been good um had a fun weekend we did like a little staycation went to a hotel sat in a hot tub it was amazing um so i've been good how is the stream well we've been going for 40 minutes and just kind of chilling hanging out doing our nails probably gonna be doing this for like two hours but then we're gonna play some games so the stream's going Good times, yes. Indeed, how are you? How was your weekend? Any color? Yes, let me show you the color that we're doing. We are doing a black sea glass. Like a really pretty black base with blues and greens and purples. It's gonna be super pretty and I'm so excited. It's one of my new colors, so. Yeah. I know, I'm so excited. I don't know how it's going to turn out yet. So this is the actual color. I'm kind of afraid to open it. I need to put out the paper towel first. Because I don't want to get stuff all over Lux here. My, um, my mat here is Lux. It's Lux. From League. Because you know. What would this be if we didn't have League stuff, you know? All right, paper towel is down. And now let's actually open the color for the first time. So, black sea glass. Whoop. It'll be a good look for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. I love having black nails and like dark nails. I think it's so pretty. That's so full. We gotta roll up our sleeves here for this. And our peel base sh should be dry, so we're good to go. Let me stir this up a little bit with our little sticky stick stick. Stick, 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 stick. And break up some of those big pieces of foil. Ooh, I love that they're this full, but at the same time, it gives me so much anxiety because I don't want to spill it. Part of me feels like I should just put the lid back on and shake it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, that worked, I guess. All right, so we want liquid number one. And then that's gonna go, we'll do our thumb first. Gonna go on my thumb. Try and do a very thin layer. Move that out of the way. Thumb, thumb, thumb. I usually... I feel like there's... Okay, so there's definitely a correct way to do this. Um, <laughs> because you're not actually supposed to do, like, your full nail each time. That's what our first layer looks like. Wow. That's a very big piece of foil, so we're gonna get rid of that right now. I'm just gonna clip that off with my clippers. Grab that out of there. I think I got it. 
Look how shitty I did on this side. I missed, like, all of this edge. <laughs> uh, impressed. <laughs> well, hey, if you like that. <laughs> all right, let's crank out the rest of these nails and see how well this goes. Uh, yeah, that looks good, right? Definitely need another light down here because I'm um, like blocking the light every time I do something on my nails. Oh god, there's some giant ass flakes in this. Yikes! Look at those giant flakes. Look at those giant pieces. Ew. Ew. Okay, I need to take those off because ew. I like more of the subtle ones. That's better. I mean, we're going to do a couple layers anyway, so. I wonder if I can just like stab them smaller. Oh, there's a big piece. Let's just take that out of there. Just take it out. Dump it. <laughs> the only bad thing about doing a stream like this is I'm looking down, like, the whole time. Like, you're just seeing, like, this part of my head. And believe me, there are better... I do have two cams, that's true. It keeps it more interesting. If I could keep everything in the correct spot, I might need to switch to my new bottle of number one, because this one feels low. Yes. Thank goodness we bought multiple uh, bottles here. Words are hard today, I'm struggling. All right. Oh yeah, that's much nicer. That'll be, make it a lot easier to get nice even layers. That's super nice. It does make up for it, you're right. Whiskey will fix it, <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn, there's another big chunk. I wonder if it's just cause I like literally am using this for the first time, this color. So there's look at that. Uh, uh. Makes words easier, I see. I feel like at that point they're just gonna start coming out and I'm not gonna care what I'm saying. And if I stumble, I stumble and I'll be like, uh, YOLO. <laughs> look how messy this is. How much I've spilled over just because this is full. Okay, I need to go faster, otherwise we're going to be here all damn day. And I would like to do something other than my nails today on stream. I guess I'm the boss and I can go as long as I want to. Because YOLO. Oh, I was also looking at my numbers earlier um, for an update on our viewers. And we're at... Or we at 2.77 as our average. So, getting there. We're teetering a little bit. Teeter tottering. Teeter, teeter totter. You know, those boys. They're on a playground. Struggling. God, I don't know why my hands are so shaky. Like, why am I nervous about doing my nails on stream? Okay, so here we are. Uh, layer one is done on this hand. That's kind of hard to show. <laughs> oh, and the camera froze. Okay. So there's layer one on the left hand. Now, let's do the forbidden right hand. Forbidden. Wipe off all the extra crap. There's so much. 
much powder on our... Thank God I put down a... Uh, um, holy shit. Paper towel. Because there's so much going on here. And I'm... So much powder. Because it's so freaking full. Boom. Oh, bam. Oh, God. I just made... <laughs> Oh, big ass mess here. This color. Look at, oh my god, there's so much that's coming off the side here. I just like scrape off all the stuff that's trapped. Because it's overflowed. Ooh. Yeah. Do some lines here. <laughs> oh, that's probably not TOS. We shouldn't joke about that. We're just gonna get rid of that. Right now. <clears throat> anyway, so nails. <laughs> Moving on. Uh next next finger. I feel like that was not a very good application of the color. Like I said, I usually have all this stuff so much closer to my face when I'm doing my nails, like just to do my nails and not on stream. So doing it from this distance is very uh, intimidating. Front row seat, though, like, oh my God, I'm making such a big mess. Oh my God. All right, almost done with hand number two. Can't promise that this is going to turn out well. I just got a bunch on my skin. Yonk. I wonder if I should just be going like more straight down, like into it. Rather than trying to like scoop, like I'm scooping into it. And I wonder if I just need to go flop into it. And if that would help. I don't even know if that makes sense, what I just said, but that is much too much of that liquid. Far too much. I just said I was going to try and plop it instead, and then here I am trying to do the same method I've done this whole time. All right. So now you're supposed to wait like two minutes before you start the next coat, but because we did both hands, I feel pretty confident to just go ahead and start our second layer on our left hand. And we'll just keep trucking along. The bug flying around here. I'm trying to scrape off all the excess powder off the ring here. That makes me really sad how, uh, how much we're spilling here but I'll try and get as much as I can back in here because that's a decent amount of powder that we should be able to save some like we should be able to oh yeah there's a good amount of powder there all right so now what we need to do I'm gonna close that just so shit doesn't go flying in there. But now we take a little brushy brush and we let me get that out of the way that's bothering me. We just brush off extra so that we can go in and do our second coat. And I usually do like the backs of my fingers too, just to get all that off. 
Rub, 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 rub. And then we can show you what we're working with for real with our first layer. I have to get it real good because we've got all that foil in there. I just want to make sure all the pieces that are sticking up are broken off. So there's hand number one when my camera catches up. Oh my goodness, we're keep frozing, freezing. All right, there's layer one. Honestly, we might be able to get away with two layers of color and then a layer of clear and have that be good. We're just gonna go right in and start layer two. And we're gonna get this side better since we didn't get that very well the first time around. Well, that was a very sloppy application of liquid. You wanna try and not get it on your skin because then you're gonna have color stuck to your skin. There, that looks nice. Yeah, I think we might be able to just do two layers of color and then there's our second layer. That looks really nice. Um, two layers of color and then a layer of clear and then we'll be good to go. And I think that would be, that'll look really nice. So. Trying to be really conscious of what you guys can see and what you can't see and making sure I'm doing everything on camera. How many layers does it usually take? Usually I do between three and four. It really depends on the powder itself because different powders have different consistencies depending on uh, if it's just like a solid color, if there's glitter in it, if there's foils in it, and um, just depends on how um, vibrant you want your color. But I like to do usually three layers total. And when I'm doing like foils and glitter colors, I like to top it with a clear coat just to kind of help encapsulate uh, all of those pieces that might be sticking up or out. Um, just so it has a more smooth finish. But honestly, yeah, this two coats of this color is really pretty. Also feel like I'm going in really heavy with my liquid this second time around. Oh, it's got a lot of blank pieces that are sticking up. So you can tell on this one. There's like a lot of stuff here. I got a lot of liquid on my skin that time. So back on this end, my finger, I have to like peel apart my skin from my nail because it got stuck under there because the liquid went on my skin. This layer's got quite a bit sticking up. I think next time we do this, we're going to have to do it with another webcam. Just because I don't like how much this doing it this way is glitching and freezing. Also, totally unrelated, um, I'll be, <laughs> lol, I just put that right in front of what you needed to see. Um, I'll be posting a picture of the finished nails on Twitter when we're done so you can see them um, a little bit more. Um, so this hand has two layers and this hand has one and you can already tell the, just like the huge difference between the two. Just like how much more vibrant everything is on this hand. So this is two layers, this is one. And you can already tell. 
All right, next layer on our right hand, and then we'll be done with color and move on to clear. And this is actually going quicker than I thought it would, so that's great. nice today. I think it was a good choice for calming down my ridiculous hair. There is one thing that I hate so so much about winter and that is that my hair gets all staticky and it probably has something to do with that I like really warm showers and that leads to the static because it like dries you out or whatever. I don't know. But it probably doesn't help that I'm taking warm showers. Just like, how can you not take a warm shower when it's cold and gross out, you know? Especially today, I think we're supposed to be getting flurries. I don't think anything that's going to be monumental accumulation, but I think we're supposed to be getting a little bit of snowy snow snow. Um, also, so I'm in the process of applying for jobs, um, mainly just part-time stuff right now so that I can keep streaming, but, um, depending on if, when I get a job, my hours will be changing, most likely. Um, so just keep an eye out. Nothing's happening in the next week, um, for sure, so just keep an eye out on my Twitter or, um, Mainly Twitter, where I'll be sharing that info. I just want to get to a point in my life where I'm happy with what I do. Because I feel like right now I'm... All of my jobs have been very much... Like doing something for somebody else. And not really seeing how it's benefiting me other than just a paycheck. And I, I don't know, like I don't wanna keep living life like that anymore where I just don't feel fulfilled in my work. Um, anyway, there's two layers on both hands now. Kinda of sloppy, but. Um, anyway, so I've just been applying for like fun part-time jobs that would be just fun to do. And I worked with kids a lot, like during high school and college, and originally I thought that I wanted to be a teacher, but that kind of didn't work out, and um, so I applied for a nannying job, because I'm like, oh, well, I've babysat kids before, and you know, that's gone pretty well, and I enjoyed that, and like, no, I may not want kids of my own, but I like taking care of them, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so I applied for a nannying job and then I also paid or a job applied for like a pet sitting gig. Um I like pets. Anyway, so we just used black silas from Sparkle and Co. We've got two layers of it on. So now what I'm going to do is wipe off the extra powder and then apply a coat of clear on top. And then we will do the activating um, liquid number dose. And that will basically solidify, harden up all of the powder. And then we can start... Um, shaping and filing it down make sure it's even and then we put another layer of the number two before we add our final coat that's where we're at with the process we're gonna brush off all of our extra powder here
but we're like basically halfway done at this point. I would say. Um, yeah, so I just want to do a really good job of getting all that extra powder off just because I don't want it to mix and ruin my clear. So I'm trying to get it off my hands and everywhere. Really good off my fingers. I'm doing my brush in like circles and I'm doing back and forth and up and down and just like really trying to get it every way. Um, and I'll do that really well for both hands. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. And I mean, you can already tell how close what it's gonna look like. It already looks very much like the sample. Couldn't think of the right word here. Um, usually what you're supposed to do with these, uh, wow, there's a big chunk on this finger, huh? Not necessarily a fan of that. And that's like the only finger that's got a big chunk on it too. That makes me sad. I just, the big chunks like that, that's what I focus on when I'm looking at my nails and I'm like, oh, that really bothers me. Oh. Anyway. So this is like my clear that I use when I've got... I specifically use this one when I've got um, colors that have a bunch of sparkle or oil in them. Um, just because I know that this is kind of already a tainted clear. Um, so it's not a huge deal if some remnants get in there because it's already kind of a messed up, messed up bottle. Normally what you're supposed to do is instead of dipping it directly in there, um, you're supposed to kind of use the lid to capture it and then you pour it over the top. So what it looks like after the first layer of clear is it has like a really white powdery look to it. But that's going to change, obviously, when we apply our um, liquid number two in our top coat. It'll look like it's supposed to. So right now we're just trying to make sure we get all of that on there. Good. We'll do that real quick quick for all of our fingers. The nice thing about clear is you don't have to do like the perfect application with it. Because it's just there as kind of like a, a finisher type thing. The nails do feel pretty um Thick. Oh, I just got a bunch on my finger. Nothing special going on in there. I'm just dipping the finger into the powder and lifting it up out of there and tapping off some of the extra. Like I said, nowhere near an expert on this so all of this is just what I do and what works best for me um. and and done with clear and then we have this hand that has no clear on it and you can tell the difference so whoop. we'll do some clear over on this hand now, and then we'll be ready for liquid number two to solidify, and then we can start shaping and filing down. Um, and again, I don't know if anybody's in here still, but uh, I don't have any headphones on, so if the music is too loud, too quiet, if I'm too loud, too quiet, please let me know. 
because uh, I am not listening. I figured there's no reason for me to have to listen to the music if I don't want to, and I don't want to listen to the music. Um, so I'm not, so I don't have headphones on. Sometimes I go a little extra bored <laughs> uh, with my, when I'm putting it in there and I'm just like, blah, 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 just like playing around in there. Because the powder does feel nice. It's kind of cool to the touch. That's nice to just feel it. It's almost like having sand on your feet, like walking on a beach. Yeah. Like a very fine sand. <laughs> so another issue that I have when I put on dip powder is I go too far up on the nail, like at the back. So when my nail grows out, there's kind of like a lip there and it gets stuck in my hair and that's another reason that um i don't keep the color on very long is because i get sick of it pulling out hair every time i run my hand through my hair and yeah not a fun thing to have could i just do my nails better sure absolutely but what's the fun in that Okay, so now we're done with clear. We're done with our color. So now we just let this, we should just like have this sitting here with our color. Can't really see that. Maybe I should just put it like that. That doesn't balance though. Okay, okay, help. There we go. So then we can have the color that we're doing sitting right there in case people need to see it. You can't hear that though. Dang. Um, so now we've got both hands with our clear on it. It looks a hot mess, right? And I've got powder like everywhere in between my hands and it's just disgusting to feel like feeling you like you're trying to get your feet cleaned off from sand and the sand is just like staying and yeah that's how I feel <laughs> we'll just try and get as much of that powder off as we can So then that's what it looks like with the powder wiped off. Do that again with our right hand. Get all that crappy gross powder off. It's not gross, but it's just, you know, when you feel it between your fingers, it's not a great feeling. Blech. <laughs> Blech. Can't do it. Okay, now. All right, so now we're gonna take the liquid number two and that you just kind of throw over the top of all of this. Doesn't have to be perfect by any means. It's not like a glue to get the gel to stick. It's not your top coat. It's just a, an activator and I'm running low. I'm gonna have to order some more. Um, Boy, that hand is gonna need, finger's gonna need a lot of uh, 
<laughs> Filing. I'm pretty sure I used too much of this on all my fingers. Um, because I've seen like people do this and they just do like a couple, like a swipe maybe, just like that much. Like, how? Okay, so then you let that sit for a couple minutes and then you can start being rough on them. Um, you can start filing them and shaping them. So, you can tell on my pinky that there's so much extra on this side. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of uh, filing down here. And that's the same on this pinky, but up here in this side, up here on top. But basically what I want to do with the filing is just getting everything the correct shape, kind of making it look all matchy-matchy. Um, I apparently got a lot of liquid on this nail. I'm going to have to work that up real quick. And if you do get any of the liquid number one, it's basically, like if you ever put fake nails on with nail glue, it's it's basically that consistency and it dries like that. So um, it's very easy to get off. Did anybody else growing up and like when you're in like middle school and, you know, it's playing with, fake nails for the first time, did you just dump glue in your hands, nail glue in your hands, and then just like crunch up when it was drying to like help give an edge to peel and then just peel it off your hand? Or was that just me? I was a weird child. Like I did that with like Elmer's glue too. And I would just dump a whole bunch of Elmer's glue on my hands, rub them together a lot, and then like let it dry and then just pick it off. Like, explain to me why I did that. Like, why did I think that that was fun? And why would I do it again right now if we had Elmer's glue? You know? Um, anyway, but I'm just kind of letting that settle. I'm peeling back spots on my skin where the liquid might have hardened and dried. Um, I'm just getting that separated from my skin here and picking it out off when I can. Okay, then... What I do is I have a couple of these, a few of them actually, just like filing, I don't even know what they're called, um, but Peppy Gel sent these in some of the kits that I have. So I use those to um, just go over the top of the nail, I'm not actually doing it, but just to really flatten out the shape, um, make sure it's all even and yeah, I just go over the top and then I just take a normal regular nail file. Um, like this, just to go on the sides and make sure that, um, like all the sides are straight and flat and I don't know how to explain it, but then I just go around the, um, the nail itself, re-solidifying that shape, making sure there's no weird parts that are sticking up or poking out or anything like that and just going back and doing all that shaping and fine tuning and then just going over the top again I usually do this like way up here so you're gonna get some ASMR Yeah, and really just making sure that that shape is nice and even. So like, I don't like to have my nails hella thick. Um, 
So that's pretty much it. I just like evened up the sides and then redid the shape at the top. Um, so like on this fingernail, there's all sorts of overhang over here. So all that's gonna have to get filed off. And I apologize, I, this is gonna be hard to keep on camera just cause I do this so up close to my face. <laughs> And at this point, I'm really not even filing my nail. I'm filing the, the powder and the dip. And just getting that into the correct shape and spots. And then fixing the curvature of the top. Sorry, keeping it off cam. Fix up that shape a little bit better. That looks pretty good, actually. It's hard to see what I'm doing, and I apologize. Okay, so anyway, there's nail number two with the shaping. Maybe I should just like angle the camera up more for this part because I'm going to be doing like this height. The only problem that we're gonna have is I'm wearing a black sweater and we're gonna get like all this powder and stuff on my shirt. Which probably wasn't the best idea now <laughs> thinking this through, but whatever. Make sure that's nice and smooth. Seems pretty good. This next finger has so much overhang right here. Like, ugh. I didn't do a very good job of applying the powder on this nail, evidently. So I'm just shaping the side of it, trying to make sure I scrape off all that extra. And I'll do that on both sides. And I'm kind of just like a regular nail, professional nail tech would. I'm like pushing the skin down if it's connected at all so that I can get under there and file that lip down and unconnect my skin from the dip powder and you can see the dip powder falling here at the bottom all right then we're just gonna make sure that shape is really nice and then we go over the top with our what what is this called I don't even know what this is called. Like our file board. I don't know. Block. I don't know. Make sure we're nice and even here. Is that too loud? The uh, shaving of the it's not is that too loud though the the filing because I can like turn down my thing or do it further away from the mic I don't want it to be annoying Sounds good, okay. Well then here, take it more, no. <laughs> Trying to do it off to the side so it's not so. This finger really wasn't that bad. Did a pretty good job on it. Alright, so moving out the top here. And it's literally just doing that process for every single nail. Making sure it's nice and smooth. I'm just going to start my pinky too. While I've got this in my hand. And it looks like I'm going really rough on my fingers here, but I'm really not. It doesn't hurt like at all. 
got a lot of filing on the sides I need to do for my pinkies because they're kind of rough. One thing that sucks is I have such small pinky nails that like they hardly ever get done well. <laughs> There's always so much uh, filing on them because the brushes just just go completely over them. But then they look nice. Sometimes you're going along and you can get to rubbing and filing and it's just like on the same spot on your skin and it kind of starts to get warm. That's what I just had happen. So now once I'm done filing that hand, this hand is all filed. Why does that look wet? Um, do final inspection, make sure it looks all right. Shape looks good enough. Good enough. So anyway, this hand is good to go. We'll put another layer of the number two on it. And then we'll get to filing our other hand and then we'll be almost done. We'll just need to do literally all this hand needs is it needs to dry with this second layer of number two and then we can do our third layer and then this hand's done. Yeah, and I'll show it here in a second how it looks with that second layer of number two and after it's all been filed. There we are. This is what it looks like before we do the number three liquid. Really nice. And then this is what our other hand looks like still. Hasn't been filed, hasn't been uh, Hasn't gotten that second layer of number two either. So we'll start our second hand. We're making pretty good time. I thought this was gonna take a lot longer, but I think it helps that we did uh, both of our hands at the same time. Instead of doing my left hand completely and then doing my right hand completely. If I did it that way, I probably only would have done my left hand on stream and then done right hand off. Or just taken everything off my left hand and had a fresh hand to go for next week. I don't think we'll do removal on stream just because that takes a while to so I'll probably always start stream with um, clean nails ready to go. Just because I also don't have a... Um... Normally for when I do removal of the nails, I use an electric nail file, nail drill, whatever. Um, and I fried mine. I need to buy a new one. some stuff here at the back that should get off but I can't really so we'll just move on to the next finger get along edge you know the so i was talking earlier about how my ring finger is the one nail that grows the slowest and yet that's always the nail that i'm like oh that nail looks so nice like i don't know why
Or just shape in there. And then we'll pull out the... See, this one's got so much on the end. We're gonna be shaving here for a while. <laughs> Didn't have a care in the world when we were doing this finger, apparently. God. Okay, that's at least looking better. Pinkies, man. It's, I think it's because my pinkies are so small that it never looks right to me. Okay, make sure all of our stuff looks nice on this hand. I see not. Pull off some extra glue that's on there. And go back with our little shuffle blocky. Shuffle block. That's what I just called this. I can get one that's not so worn. I feel like this one's the least used. I'm shaking my desk like crazy. just realized I never ate any lunch before I started. I was more concerned about getting my camera and everything set up. So once I'm done with my nails, I'll take a quick break and then we'll I'll get some food and then we can switch to some games. Or we could just do nails today. See how I'm feeling when we're done. Because if anything, we'd just play some League with Daniel. And I mean, I'm probably going to end up doing that off stream anyway. So we'll see. I'll talk with him and see how we're feeling. And we'll see how long it takes us to get our nails done. Because we've been doing like two and a half hour streams lately anyway. So we'll, we'll see. It's pretty good to me. pretty good. I'll go ahead and do another layer of liquid numero dos. And then get ready to finish up our left hand. Gotta give it a little shake to mess up the not mess up, but mix up the liquid so it hits my brush and gets in there since we're running a little low. Did not do it that time. And I barely had much. Okay. I think next time we do our nails on stream, we're gonna have to sit somewhere more comfortable. All right, so you're supposed to let that wait for, um, just let that sit for like two minutes. And I think it's been that long on our left hand, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next part here. What I need to do first, ouch, is get all this out of the way because we don't want any of our remnants to get caught here in liquid number three, so. gonna fold this up that had our extra powder on it and then 
do some roly poly olies. All right. Make sure that doesn't unravel. Fresh paper towel. You do not want, look at all that white on the powder. Anyway, you don't want any of your number two to mix with your number three because that will ruin your number three. So let me tilt back down here, whoop. Should be good. Um, so what we do is, um, looks good so far, I think. We're entering the last step. We just got done shaping and filing. This is the final layer, yes. Three, three step process, which is nice. Um, so to make sure that we don't get any of our number two on there, I go in with the paper towel and just kind of rub off the top of that just to get any of the extra number two that's left up there. And then what we do is we take number three, get off all the extra, and then we do a thin layer on top here. Make sure you get the ends to encapsulate that. And then I actually wipe off the brush before putting it back in there just for another added layer of security. So that's what it looks like with a first layer of our top coat. So I'm gonna do all the other fingers on this hand and then we'll go right back and do another coat of it. Encapsulate the end, rub off the extra. Thin layer. Encapsulate. I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but when this liquid gets on my skin, it like gets really warm. Really warm. Just kind of like in general, as it's reacting to the everything that's on my finger, it like gets warm because of the chemical reactions and stuff. At least I think that's what's happening, and I hope what's happening, and I don't hope it's like an allergic reaction type thing. Which, I mean, I've been using this stuff for like two years now. So I think if there was going to be any issues, like, I would have experienced it by now. Um, anyway, so here is after layer one of our final coat, and then we're going to go back in and do our final layer, and then we're done with this hand. Donezo. So what happens if you mix your number two and number three? Um, your brush gets all stiff and hardens because it has been solidified by your number two. And the gel, the liquid, gets all goopy and stringy. I have ruined plenty of bottles. And I've seen some tricks in a Facebook group that I'm in um, where you just put like some a little bit of acetone in your bottle to solve that and fix it. But I've also seen that that can make the bristles fall out because it also deactivates the glue that's used to hold the bristles in place of the brush. So anyway, here's what we look like final. And once that's dry, it'll be all hard and there's our sample. So there's the sample next to our nails once it catches up. Yeah, pretty nice. And let's take a picture for the gram. Oh wait, I can't because I'm using my phone right now for this camera. <laughs> we'll post a picture on Instagram as soon as we finish this hand and then see it up close and personal. Looking at it right now, it's super cute. Do I have a favorite nail? 
I think shape-wise, my thumb is absolutely gorgeous. But I think color-wise, Actually, my thumb might be my favorite for both. Yep, on this hand, thumb is favorite for both. Oh, bam, get a close-up of that bad boy. Oh, uh, oh, uh, look at that. Bam. All right, last layer on hand number two. Wipe off the extra number two. Try not to mess up my other hand because it's still drying. That's... Yeah, that's the one we want. That over. All right. Same thing. Thin layer. Wipe it on the paper towel before putting it back inside. Thin layer. Wipe. Back in. And repeat. I have another color that's very similar to this. It's got like the black base and the foils, but it's like a wider range of foil colors. And it's, uh, the name of that one is Aurora Borealis. And it's gorgeous too. I really like colors with foils. I think they look really nice, but kind of the application is a pain in the ass just because you have foils that are bigger and you see you have bigger chunks of color and it looks like that's why I don't like my ring finger on this hand, my right hand, because there are chunks that are very big, like see that very big chunk. So, I don't like it when that happens. One of these days, when we have more people in chat, I will actually put sh uh, the chat up on stream. Because I'd like to, I like seeing chat boxes on stream, but I just never put one on mine because I don't have enough people chatting and I don't want to dedicate that kind of space to just like a black empty box if, you know, people aren't going to be in here regularly, which is fine. I'm not saying it as like a negative, like, oh, pity me, I don't have chatters. Like, I have plans to do that. I just need that to happen first. Have your numbers been? Um, okay, I didn't stream a lot last week, so I think that's going to hurt me. But our average is 2.7, 2.77, I think, to be exact. I just checked before stream. Definitely think that going back to League all the time hurt. But again, as I've discussed, like League is the game that I want to play and that I have fun playing. So... I want people who are going to want to watch League and I don't want to play random games just to get the viewers up and then have them be disappointed when I switch to League and they're like, oh, well, this isn't why I followed you. You know, that kind of vibe. So we're sticking with League. So we just got done with our second layer on our right hand. Now we just need these bad boys to dry. Oh, bam. I don't know the best way to show them. <laughs> I've got to figure out which way the camera is first. So that's what we're working with. Well, bam. I just hate this finger so much because of those big chunks. I need to throw some lotion on these bad boys. And... Um, wash my hands to get all the extra powder off, but we're done. Well, bam. And that is Black Sea Glass from Sparkle. Very pretty. Very pretty. Oh my goodness, there we go. Bam. Wow. Okay. 
that's that. So let me get back to this screen here. And I'll take a picture real quick. Post it on the gram. Not the gram. Twitter. I don't have Instagram. We've got Twitter. We got some spam calls while we were using our phone. Love that. I think I hit this. Looking at your stats, League does kind of hurt you, but it's your channel, do your thing. Yeah. See, and I knew that when I switched to League anyway, just because it is such a heavily saturated game. But it's what I like playing, so. Try and get a good picture here for Twitter. Bam. And we'll tweet it real quick. And then take a quick break. Goodness. Ah, close, close. Let me go grab my No doubt, little homie. Indeed. All right, nails. Finished product went with hashtag black sea glass from that gold. Hard eye emoji. And let's see here. Can we pull up a Twitter so that I can pimp it out and you can follow me if you're not already? Eh, we post all sorts of random stuff there, not just like stream related. We had to pull my. Make sure we've got it. Yeah, here's our sh Twitter. See, we've got a picture of the dogs and all their cuteness. Got too much shit on my desk now. <laughs> Hold, please. <laughs> too much stuff. And then my mouse needs to come back over. Anyway, so here's my Twitter. If you're not following me, make sure you follow me. Um, and we have our picture of our nails. Ta-da! That we just did on stream. See? That's it. That's my Twitter. jennifer 21 ttv Follow me. Like me. All right, I'm going to go grab a snacky snack snack and refill my water and then we'll play some games. So I will be right back.
I want to give you what I think is the most authentic recipe. So first up, guys, you only need this ingredient. Then, and I'm going to take a nice centimetre slice. And technique and timing. So as simple as this is, Pretty good results, actually.
Hi, we're back. We're back. I ate some chicken strips. Uh, why do I look adorable today? Like, how is it that I went from having awful hair to looking cute? All right. Before we play League, we. Hey, everyone. Merch. Merch. Pause. We're gonna watch a video about I'm all Ryan the um, changes Leave coming for preseason this year. In like two days, preseason hits. So we need to connect our headphones. I don't have them on yet. Yeah, they're on now. Yes. <clears throat> that was such a smoothless. Sm no issues. Anyway, let's watch the video. About uh, preseason. I'm gonna full screen it. And let's watch. Producer of gameplay on League. You might remember me from all those champion roadmaps. But today, for ones? reasons I can't even Hold fathom, on. they put me in front of a camera again to talk about all of League this time. So buckle up as I dive into some of the champions we have in development. Ooh, After that, new champs? I'm gonna pass the metaphorical mic over to Riot Froxon who is going to talk to you about the recent durability update as well as our plans for preseason. Durability update, is that about um, like healing and stuff? All right, new champs, here we go. So before we get into the new champions coming up this year, let's is take a quick getting look a back at the champions we've released in 2022 so far. First Stupid. we have the speedy ABC Zeri. Then the girl boss, Renata Glass. Girl boss, hashtag. After that, the void empress herself, <laughs> Belvin. And then most recently, the Joyful Nila. There were a lot of female And just champions. around the corner, we have I didn't the Udyr VGU, complete with a dad bod worthy of the Freljordian gods. I don't know if that's dad Uder's bod. development has been a long journey, especially since he's been the first VGU that we've done that's had an ultimate skin. We appreciate you all being patient with us on this one, and hopefully Isn't it is done? It. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. What's a mid scope update? I don't know. So in addition to the new champions we've released this year, we've also been shipping a lot of mid scope updates to various champions, including Janna, Ari, Swain, Talia, Olaf, and recently Sivir. Janna. Because mid? we slowed down the release of new champions, we've had a bit more time to ship smaller updates to champions on the roster that have fallen behind the pack. So the goal of Midscope updates isn't to reimagine a champion's visuals, theme, or gameplay. That's reserved for VGUs. Instead, we want to freshen up the champions that aren't living up to the expectations of the players who love them. What? What does that mean? We try to mean? strengthen their fantasy even more, rather than reinvent it. So for Swain, we pushed his fantasy of an unkillable frontline mage to the max. And for Ari, we focus on her fantasy of a mobile mage God. rather than the assassin she had become. We saw really great responses to these projects as well as healthy play rate spikes after their release. Given what all happens this, with every update? we want to keep pursuing mid-scope updates. And we already have a few champions we're exploring, including Nico and Syndra. Okay. All right, new champs, here we go. What do we got? Something good. So now let's talk about some projects I've been super excited to share Probably with you. Probably a top laner. So later this year, we have a new top lane tank hailing from Shurima, <laughs> who I briefly What did I just say? What did I just there. say? Probably a top laner? Hmm. Weird, it's like I freaking knew it. This new champion will introduce a part of Shurima that we haven't explored yet. The city oh. of Nizuma. It's just Kasante, who's already out. Now, Azuma is an oasis city state in the southern oh, outskirts God. of the desert. And unlike the rest of Shrima, they don't bow to his ear. Situated on one of the only water sources for miles, the people of Nizuma had to compete with giant monsters Not a just fan. trying to stay hydrated. Not a fan. It was a hard fought struggle, but they eventually claimed the oasis as their own and built their society around it. Now, 500 years later, this new champion leads the warriors of Nizuma to hunt those same monsters, using the rare resources they gained to build their infrastructure and weapons. He actually fought 
one of the largest monsters the desert has ever known, creating his unique entofos out of its rare regenerating hide. Entofos? Entofos are huge, blunt weapons that can be used oh. defensively. So but his, at any moment, whatever he can he's shatter, he's carrying. revealing carefully crafted blades capable of tearing through any foe in seconds. Soon after, the hide will regenerate back to its blunt form, so he can, like, blunt. Oh, hey, Daniel, you know the deal when we're playing lead together and I'm streaming. Yeah, go just like, yes, 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 thank you. Jin the crap out of you. Anyway. It's honestly quite impressive to see. You to but you don't have to take to my word for it. The entire city-state is basically permanently impressed by him. I mean, he's Kasanti, uh, the pride of Mizuma. You don't get that title for nothing. So after Kasanti, we will be releasing Kisante. the highly anticipated Aurelian Soul CGU. To remind everybody, oh, a CGU, that was happening. or comprehensive gameplay update, is a new type of update we are testing out on Aurelian Soul. Wait, so what? the goal is to completely reimagine A Soul's gameplay without changing his visuals or narrative at all. Since let's be honest, those so aspects of Alien Soul are still amazing, even by today's standards. But I know what you're thinking. Less talking, Mr. Reeve, more action. And by action, we mean videos. Okay, fine. Twist my arm a little bit more, will you? Now keep in mind, the visuals are still a work in progress. One of the goals was to Why enhance is his hand his so dragon green. Theme. And what do dragons do? Fly. Well, they breathe fire, of course. Oh. Aesol's new Q allows him to breathe fire for as long as he has mana to do it. But let's not forget hmm. the other thing dragons do. Fly. His Wait, so is that targeted or is it kind of like Xerath ult? Or not not Xerath ult, Velkaz, where you just like hover and like take your armor. New W allows him to take to the skies. But this time, he doesn't have to walk in a straight line for like ever. He can now fly with the push of a button. But really, let's be honest. He's a dragon. And if there's one thing more iconic than either flying or breathing fire, it's flying while breathing fire, which you can do by combining his Q and W. Dumb. We did it. So after Raylene Wait, so Soul, old. we have a champion I've been literally dying to talk to you about. One of the things the League community hounds me about constantly is wanting to see more Darken champions. Darken fans are like, throw me a freaking bone here. And believe you me, I'm Wait, right I've there seen with this you, before, barking for some Darken. Then one night at around 2.34 AM, I woke up in a fever sweat. And at that moment, it hit me. I'm on the champions team. I think this if next I want champion more Darken, is going to be a dog I can just dagger. talk to the team about it. And gosh dang it, I did I just remember that. I've seen this. And the team was like, heck before. yeah, we want more Darken as well. We love Darken. So yeah, long story short, we're making a new Darken assassin. So I know what you're going to ask next. What's some... the weapon? Each Darken is trapped in some super awesome weaponry. Please tell us what it is. We must know. And while I love watching you all squirm beneath my intricate yet vague champion roadmap teasers, I'm not going to be that cruel today. Not the today. weapons are like the coolest part about Darken after all. Mm -hmm. So this They're one was actually me. entrapped in a dagger, which is now a Darken dagger, of course, because that's how that works. And here's what it okay. looks like. Ooh, so edgy, so dark. And as to who or what got a hold of these daggers, so it's definitely well, a you'll creature. just have to wait and find out. Another thing a lot of people have been asking to see pro Did we only get dog because he was making dog references and that was it? That was the only thing that gave us dog vibes. Progerson is the Ari update that we announced at season start. I don't remember. Well the this. ASU team has been hard at work and is ready to Maybe share some art. Like the final composition seen here. The base okay, version how is, this different? is close to complete, and the team is super excited to show you some of the progress on how she's looking in-game. Look at all those sweet polygons. And here's a sneak peek of her updated VFX. Okay, I don't Ari play Ari, so how is this different? That also need to be updated. So she still needs a little more time in the fire. Yeah, a ton of skins that need to be updated because she's one of your freaking pet projects and has every single skin. Anyway, <clears throat> not as much as a collie, I suppose. Ooh, that's a good question for Google. 
Which champion has the most skins? If I had to guess, you think that already came out, what, the uh, Ari stuff? Before we can get her in your hands. Oh, really? But you can. Wait, how old is this video? Oh, it's three months old. Expect to see her Rip. sometime early next year. So that's about it for champion news. Though I will leave you with one small thing. On top of wanting a new Darkin, we've seen a lot of players asking us to expand on Ixtal. We've also heard you asking for us to make a male enchanter. Well, I say, mm. why not both? <clears throat> I'm happy to say we have right now, in very early development, a new male enchanter from Ixtal. The new champion will show a very different side to Ixtal, far from the lavish palaces Kiana grew up in. So take a look at this art teaser Aww, that the team working on and put so together. Cute. Oh my god, they're so adorable. <clears throat> well, that's enough cute. They are for cute now. though. So as promised, let's hear from Riot Froxon on the champion durability update. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Long Harrison, aka Riot Froxon, lead game designer on the Summoner's Rift team. We work on things like balancing the game, in-game systems like the durability update and items, and preseason. Mm. I've got a few things to cover today, so let's jump right into it. Oh, a few patches ago, we launched the champion durability update. Our goal that was, about was to tanky. increase the durability and reduce the damage and healing of every champion in League. Mm. We've been closely monitoring the results, and after some targeted adjustments, we're really happy with where the update landed. Mm. A lot of you have mentioned how much you like the update, and that it feels good to have fights last longer with more chances for skill expression. And we're glad that it helped make I the suppose, League feel yeah. fresher. That said, we don't have plans to make changes of this size outside of preseason in the future, unless it's really necessary. What we don't want is for huge changes like this to disrupt League's competitive integrity, especially mm. in the middle of the season. Yeah, that's true. Speaking of which, let's talk about our plans for preseason. Pokemon! Similar to last year, we're making more targeted changes to various systems. Our multi-year goal is to bring everything in League up to modern standards before doing updates on the scale of Runes Reforged, Elemental Rift, or the item update again. So for this preseason, we're updating systems including communication and vision, making the jungle more exciting and accessible, and bringing back a familiar foe. This is, they added a bunch of pings, Our communication they? system is showing its age, especially in comparison to some of our other games. So we're giving it some much needed attention with new features that'll make it easier to communicate with your team and walk away with the win. To that, we're expanding our in-game ping system to allow yeah. for better communication with your team. The current system only lets you share very basic communications. And while we appreciate your ingenuity with the limited pings you have, we wanted to give you more opportunity for clearer communication. The updated pings will include everything you already know and love, plus expanded vision options and a call to engage. I like that they We're do have the phrase about ways to emphasize <clears throat> As somebody who doesn't know when to freeze and push lanes, I like that they have that to better communicate when they want to freeze and when they want to push, because I... I have no idea. Size pings with teammates, plan macro strategy for objectives, and keep track of where pings are on the map, even if they're off your screen. In addition to the changes to communication, we're making some small improvements to the vision system, as it's a bit outdated. It's not super clear that you can swap vision trinkets, and it's definitely not clear how you can best utilize them. To that, we're exploring ways to make vision trinkets more intuitive. You'll be able to see how many wards you have on the map and preview where they'll go when placing them in walls. Hmm. The Pokemon. Another focus this year is the jungle. We know it's often a highly stressful role where you need heaps of knowledge to be baseline proficient. There's a lot riding on junglers. As Which is why I don't have a jungle. The team's strategy, while sometimes getting unjustly flamed. So we're looking to make some changes to make jungling more intuitive and to help alleviate some of its more painful parts. 
Our first change is improving buff sharing. Donating buffs to your laners is an important part of being a jungler, but it feels bad to lose the gold, experience, and bonuses they provide. We're exploring a bunch of things to make this more painless to junglers. Like, I mean, to be fair, a... to be fair, when you're at a point in the game where you can start sharing buffs, like, I feel like the game's been going long enough that the jungler is stronger anyway and doesn't necessarily solely rely on those so i don't know whatever little friend that also has a buff and a few other potential directions we're also looking at ways of improving jungle camp patience rules the goal of this change is to make it so you don't get overly punished by accidentally pulling camps too far mm -hmm. you shouldn't have to know exactly what pixel to stand on to do red buff and raptors at the same time without one resetting so we're making changes that will make it less punishing when that happens. Didn't they expand, like, the We know range? some junglers like to hyper-optimize their clears, and we want that knowledge to be rewarded. We'll still keep unique, optimal clears for different champions, like Kane starting Raptors and Shaco doing whatever it is he does. All this said, we're not trying to make mastering jungle easier, but we do want to make it easier to start jungling. We still want you to be rewarded for taking the time to master your role and champions. There are some other improvements we're exploring for the jungle, but it's still too early to share more. So we'll right, check back right. in later. They didn't talk about the Pokemon. The final preseason change we want to talk about today is the long awaited return of everyone's favorite Drake, the Chemtech Drake. Why did they get rid of the Chemtech, Chemtech Drake in the first place? Was it too busted or was it too buggy? What was the deal? While we're bringing Chemtech Drake back from the dead, she won't bring you back from the dead anymore. Oh. Instead, the new and improved Chemtech Soul grants more damage and damage reduction when you're low health. And when no the Chemtech like Drake the takes over passive. the rift, the plants on the map mutate and become empowered. For example, Scry's Bloom will grant movement speed when moving towards revealed enemies, and Blast Cone will take you further than ever before, like from blue buff oh. to mid lane. We still have other plans for preseason, including the usual updates and tweaks to items and runes. And we'll share more information about our plans for these and everything we discussed today as we get close to preseason. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching, and let us know what you think about everything you heard. Is this the most updated preseason video? To say goodbye. Thanks, Roxon. So as you can see, we have a lot of exciting things in development. And as always, I've had a blast finally sharing all this cool stuff the team has been working on with all of you. Wait. Uh-huh. Oh, is yeah. this the cringy takeover for the champ? So I'm hearing that there is one last thing we forgot to show you all. You all remember the skin line you voted for at the beginning of the oh, year, right? Oh, no. I think it was the gothic skin line revamp. Well, our skins team has been hard at work reimagining that skin line, and they really want to share a bit it's of it with you now. Saying, okay. So it's time for me to say goodbye, bye, and time for all of you to see some sweet concept art for the new Fright Night skins. That's right. These aren't out yet, are they? Yeah, they are. So they made it less gothy and made it more Halloween-y. Is the takeaway. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's get stuff situated here. Pull up League. Get crap out of my way. I have so much stuff in my way right now. Also, like, what? Why does my hair look so good? What even is this? Like, who is she? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um, dumb. You cutie, that's for sure. Aww. Thank you. All right, I'm opening league now. My nails feel so, I don't know. Maybe it's because I did them on stream and I didn't get to um, like do everything as up close as I normally do. Don't know.
Whoa, there we go. Sorry, I'm just doing a tweet real quick. Okay. Um shall we start with uh our little cheat sheet here? Uh ARAM or Earth? Uh I need to update something on my stream quickly. Really quickly. Shouldn't take me long at all. I just so I changed the colors of the text for my f latest follower and donation um, because when I was on the screen with my nails, it was not showing up very well. So just need to update that real quick. If My computer isn't freaking out on me. Oh my God, hello. Jeez, okay. All right, we just got to change the other one now. All right, now we're good to go. Uh, let's start with uh, an ARAM, I suppose. And we'll get our good old reliable standalone here. We aren't gonna do voice chat. So let me make sure I'm disconnected, yep. All right, we need to find oh, our, that was fast. I think, do we like this angle better? You can see more of like, the best. oh, we're not playing Blue Tongue. Fuck that. Ooh, Casio. We have a new Casio skin, don't we? Oh, you've got Nico though. Do you want Nico? I'll trade you. Nico. Okay, let's get our runes. Let's get our runes. Ooh, except they have karma. All right, we need our cheat sheet to be in a more friendly spot. Don't forget your end of the bargain. <laughs> okay. God, good thing I look good today. Otherwise, this would be embarrassing. I just wear a hat like this all the time. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, I don't think I. Gives a pixie cut vibe. You think so? Pixie cut's like super short though. Pixie, yeah, is super short. I think you want like a line or like very. My hair does kind of like give off a line cut vibes. It does feel very much longer in the front. <sighs> What's the hairstyle with one shaved side of that? I don't know if that has a specific name. Is that what I'm giving right now? Is shaved side head, side shaved head? I will say having my hair like this and a hat on makes my head feel a little bit uh, more evenly proportioned. I just thought it was a type of pixie cut. I don't know. Damn it, I didn't change back to my 
skin big enough. Um, anyway, I wanted to use the summer or the winter skin for Nico. I need to change my. Ooh, that's nice. The one that the. Who are they playing? Heimerdinger has. That's a pretty. I wonder what that is. I think I have this one. I think I have this one. Obviously, I have this one. This one's fun too. What's yours? That looks nice. This one looks really nice though. And this one's fun. Oh, five with Nico? I don't understand. Um, ooh, the mail's here. They're not here at six o'clock and having to use a flashlight to deliver our mail. God, I hate winter. <laughs> I'm a snack. Yeah, go, you're okay. <clears throat> How much? What? Why are you so much faster than me? Nico. Wait, what's your passive? Does it tell me what your passive is if I... No. Oh. Oh. That's nice. Oh, fuck. They've got a Rengar? Shit. I didn't realize that. Okay, now my game sounds are super quiet. Let's go! Eat on! But not like that! Or like that! Oops. Not how we want to be playing this one. Boy, my game's awfully laggy today. Hopefully our internet's not having problems. Um, one thing that I'm planning on doing is making a YouTube channel. And posting, like, shorts and stuff on there. From our stream. Hey, let's go. We got him. Got him. I changed the sensitivity on my mouse. And it's, um... So much more sensitive now than what I normally play at, obviously. Um, and I'm still trying to get used to it. Because I was trying to figure out if, like, my mouse sensitivity was part of the reason that I wasn't playing so hot. You stupid. No! Ah! Shit. This is what happens when you don't take. Um. Whoops. Uh, the snowball. 
I don't ever play it with Nico, but I know like most people use that when they play Nico, because then they can just projectile it on there. I'm dead. Okay. Oh, my, uh, you can't see it, it's too far up, but my, um, my hanging plant, it's getting so long. Look at it, look how cute it is! <sighs> I ruined my camera setup trying to show you that, so I hope you're happy. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it, let's get that. Who has the fastest base speed in our game? Fuck that. Such a stupid champ. I so would have been dead there if Rengar actually hit. Rengar's in the bush still, isn't he? Oh no, he's dead! Oh, yes! Enemy double kill. My... Mouse work is so sloppy right now. Fuck me. Get away from the bush. Oh. Yes! We got him. Let's go. An enemy has been Looks seen. nice, right? Yeah. All right, does anybody have a really good base walking speed? Or, like... An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Bruh. Let's go, we're destroying them. Sneaky Tomato is the, uh... Ah! Bro, Lulu, what? Are you just trying to bait for... Let me live! It's 
called skill. Look at him. What is happening right now? I don't know what's happening, honestly. I didn't get any attacks. Rip, 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 rip. Yikes. Ouch. Boy. We smash them and then they smash us, huh? Seems to be how this one's going. <gasps> I'm still trying to fix, like, little mistakes on my nails. <gasps> Nicely done. They're all dead, so good. For now. Damn. Nice little bit of CC. Probably should get like stopwatch or something. I don't know. Let's go. We can win this one. I am not talking very much. This Vlad is just. Oh, lovely. I need to just, if I could just ignite him. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, let's go. Now let's put that on the button we actually lose. Okay. So if I could just stay alive with the rest of my team or die at the same time as them, Shut down. we'll be okay. Like, just stay with the team and get carried. The enemy's inhibitors respawn soon. Seems about right.
so much damage. I killed Vlad! Do we win? We win! That was cheap. Okay, 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 okay. Fast walking speed. And triple kill for Vlad. Shut down. Enemy triple kill. <laughs> An effort was made. What? Guess he probably didn't care anyway because the game is basically over. Three, two, one, let me go. <sighs> Fuck Lulu boost speed, speed boost. Go run. I'm so dead. Shut down. Clone took the brunt of that damage. Fuck. I'm dead. That was played so horribly by me. They're so low, I mean, that's what I meant. Okay, let's go, mommy. Mommy? Mommy?
Let's go. We can win this now. We win this, right? Not much you could do there. I am not talking a lot. Like at all. I think I might actually end stream after this game. Just because I'm not talking very much. And I'm not being very entertaining. And this will probably be pretty uh, standard for Monday streams if we're going to be doing my nails. We'll do the nails and then like... Not really play games after. Uh. I should have gotten like some attack speed or something. <gasps> I mean, thank you, we got in on that action. Good. Good. If there's anybody in game that they're in the stream. We'll probably be playing after stream still, so if you want to play, let me know. Fuck <sighs> that, dude. He's so stupid. Never mind, Drinkar has 27 kills. Never mind that fact, though. Details. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. Dumb. I'm looking at my nails, like, obsessing over them. What? That was weird. Why did it show my... Okay. Hello. Yeah, I got really tired after stream, or after, during that game, I got really tired, so. We're gonna just call it a day there. We'll end, give up. Honor to them. E. Alright. And on that note, that's gonna be it for me today. I just got super tired during that game. 
and we've been going for almost three hours so that's gonna be it for me for today we'll probably be back on tomorrow um yeah i don't know it's fun doing something different today with doing our nails and then playing games so i don't know maybe do it again we'll see how well that um heel base lasts and then see anyway thank you as always for hanging out stopping by chatting lurking if there are any lurkers i appreciate uh, all the extra help trying to get to affiliate we are just needing that three person average viewing so anything helps at this point um like i said be back on tomorrow we'll do it all again we'll have some fun i'm really into play in the mood to play faz so maybe that'll continue on until tomorrow maybe we'll join some random lobbies and anyway thank you and i'll see you all tomorrow